Hello, NHS. On today's episode, we continue Guest Anchor Week as we are joined by the lovely Mrs. Birch. Thank you, Connor. I'm excited to be here. All right, let's read some news. Sounds good. Students, if you ordered a yearbook, they will be available for pickup today. They will be in the LGI during lunch. You will need your ID in order to pick up the yearbook. Students, your iPad along with the case and charger will be collected on June 1st at the end of your last scheduled final. If you are attending summer school or have summer work, you will keep your iPad through the summer and return it on July 25th at iPad deployment. Check the NHS Student Canvas course for more information. Students returning for the 2017-2018 school year will receive a new iPad in case at deployment. The Outdoors Club will be meeting today in AL to discuss the upcoming canoe trip. If you are interested, send Mr. Peculus a pass on PassWiz or stop by 2250 to get a physical pass. Hey seniors, come out and join the fun festivities scheduled next week. On Tuesday, the Senior Brick Award meeting is at 1 in the auditorium. Even if you weren't nominated, come out and support your senior class. After that, come out on Thursday at 3 to the Senior Cookout. It is in the parking lot over by the football practice fields. There will be food, games, and music. Wear your college gear. It might be the last time before graduation the seniors do anything together. Well, that was a great show, Mrs. Birch. It certainly was. It's a pleasure as usual. Let's toss it to birthdays, lunches, sports, and fine arts Friday. Thank you. Hey, NHS, and welcome back to Fine Arts Friday. It's nearly summertime here in Indiana, and with this weather, it's time to hit the road. Road trip! Let's get into it. <laughs> Not much is happening this week, but next week on May 24th, the choirs are holding their annual concert. It starts at 7 p.m. This week's featured visual artist is Jill Campbell. Jill Campbell has made some pretty awesome sculptures ranging from animals to bulls. They all have different unique colors and materials. Keep up the good work, Jill. If you're interested in having your own art, featured on Fine Arts Friday or possibly even being an Artist of the Week for next year, send us an email at fineartsfriday at gmail.com. Corinne, I'm a senior here at Noblesville and I focus mostly on 3D art, but I've also this past, my past senior, this senior year, I did some 2D art, but mostly just 3D, like my sculpting mostly. So the thing I'm most proud of in my art career at Noseville High School is basically focusing on one thing, which was my faces, because I really just did abstract art before this year, and focusing on something real and actually putting emotion into something realistic was really a big moment for me. The reason the arts are important to me is because it's just a time for me to relax and not have to worry about anything, because art is whatever you want it to be. There's no judgment in it. It's Beauty is in the eye of the beholder with art. If you think it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And that's why I love art, because it's purely what you want to do. My biggest advice to anyone that's starting in art is don't care if it doesn't look amazing, because it takes time. If I would have tried to do this freshman year, this face, it would have broken a hundred times, and if I actually got it done, it would have looked like crap. Thanks for watching another episode of Fine Arts Friday. What's up guys? You there yet? We haven't even started the car. <sighs> See you next week. I want to say thanks for coming in the gold mine this year. Have a great summer. See you next year.
continue Guest Anchor Week, we have Mrs. Stoffel joining us today. Hello, Mrs. Stoffel. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's great having you here. Let's read some sports. Don't forget that cross-country call-out meeting is today during AL, so if you're interested, be sure to check it out. The girls' track team competed at sectionals earlier this week. The team got wins in five sectional events. The events were the 4x800-meter relay, the high jump, the 400-meter dash, the 1600-meter run, and the 4x400-meter relay. Special shout-out to Shelby Tyler for breaking a 20-year-old sectional record in the high jump, and Abby Little and Maria Anderson for being a part of three, wins, three of the wins. There will be a call-out meeting during AL on Tuesday, May 23rd, for anyone interested in trying out for the boys' soccer team this upcoming fall. The, the meeting will take place in the LGI. We will discuss many topics, including our summer schedule. Please request a pass on PassWiz from Coach Delasky to attend the meeting. Attention FCA members, the next huddle is today from 115 to 145 in room 2216. Be sure to follow them on Twitter at NHSFCA2017 for any upcoming information. Thank you so much, Mrs. Stoffel. It was great to have you. Well, thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> See you later, NHS.